Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's SSG here. Welcome to another gun review for today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing The Empire. And, you know, I was just chilling with, with some friends, and one of my friends were like, You know what? Uh, you should you should try out The Empire, Sig. I know you don't really... You, you haven't really used that gun, and it's actually pretty good. So, you know, I decided to give it a shot. And I actually think that this gun is it's like a pocket maple strike. And, you know, I decided to dig in a bit more to the gun, look at the damage, look at the fire rate and all that stuff. And it shares w a lot of similarities to the Maple Strike. Which is why I think the Empire is basically the Pocket Maple Strike. So, you know, let's get started. Damage-wise, both guns deal the have the absolute same base damage. They're 24 damage. No way, dealing 44 damage to the head, 32 to the chest, and 24 to the legs. And it's, you know, it's pretty simple, um, I think because they're both military guns, uh, both of them, you know, have the same base damage of 40, so it kind of makes sense. The Maple Strike has slightly longer range, though, than the uh, um, Empire, because the Maple Strike has a range of 200 meters, meanwhile the Empire only has a range of, like, 160 meters. But you do, you gotta understand, the Empire is the secondary. And with its range, it's actually the longest range secondary in the game. And when it comes to recoil, I decided to, you know, just spray it into a wall and see how the patterns are. The Maple Strike, this is why I always call the Maple Strike a, like, kind of laser gun. Because the gun has no recoil, it only fires straight up. And, what well, compensating for vertical recoil is the easiest thing. Like, horizontal is a bit harder, but just straight up, uh, um, dragging a mouse down with me will guarantee all your maple strike shots to hit and yeah the empire is goes up around like 45 degrees to the left if i'm not mistaken and you know it's still little recoil and it like the difference between the bullets is a bit smaller on the empire so it does mean it has lower recoil but it's still you know you still have to compensate for it horizontally so i don't think it's 100% like you know less recoil than a maple strike and both guns are military so they both can take military attachments like military balance, mil um, grips you know just the military attachments in general um, but the maple strike compared to the empire has a bit more customizability because the maple strike can take the 20 round swiss cover mag, the 30 round normal military magazine and the 100 round military drum so the maple strike has a small advantage in that in that in that case, and uh, yeah. So I think uh, when we're comparing durability, they're legitimately identical. Um, they both break after 500 shots, and um, yeah, durability is pretty much the same. It's and because both of them take military ammo, it, they're both basically like as easy to maintain. They're both like you know the same when it comes to maintenance. And one thing that I think, why I think the Empire is better than a Maple Sack though is because it can fit in the secondary side, you can use it underwater, so that's a plus. And I f just tend to find the Empire more often than the Maple Strike, even outside of Germany or Hawaii, because Hawaii at the ages uh, facilities, you kill a zombie, they can drop the Empire. So on Hawaii and um, Germany, you can find those guns pretty easily. And on the other maps, they only spawn in airdrops. However, I tend to find the Empire more in airdrops than the Maple Strike. Like on Washington, none of those two guns spawn there. Uh, but yet, I tend to find the Empire more often than the Maple Strike. The Maple Strike is like honestly one of the best saw rifles. It's really, you know, sought after. So I do understand why it's pretty rare. But considering the uh, if if you are like you know if you like the maple strike and it's hard for you to find on a map that's not PEI, you should uh, if you find an empire you should take it. It has almost the same uh, statistics as the maple strike and it feels like it feels it actually feels like a pocket maple strike because you can fit in your secondary slot. So yeah, one th another thing the empire has advantage over the maple strike is. If you like the Eagle Fire's 3 round burst or the Fusilov's 3 round burst, it also has a 3 round burst option. So, you know, they, uh, it's pretty much, you know, suited for every single 
a playstyle uh, where there is for assault rifles at least every single assault rifle playstyle because you have people with the heartbreaker or who prefer heartbreaker and augs you got the people who prefer the nitrate or maple strike you also have people who prefer the uh, three numbers weapons just like the full out and the eagle fire so the empire can be used by pretty much anyone I'm pretty sure a lot of people like this gun I have seen it be been used a lot although on creative servers it's still the honey badger is still uh, supreme I think I might do a honey badger gun review in the future let me know if you guys think I should do a honey badger gun review but uh yeah that pretty much wraps up for this video guys what do you guys think do you, do you guys think that the empire is better than maple strike did, did you already know it's a pocket maple strike you know let me know in the comments and uh yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching subscribe if you're new leave a like if you enjoyed and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video peace